the Israeli government to take over land in Gaza, turn it into a demilitarized zone, and then claim that your military is the only one that can make sure it stays demilitarized. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reiterated his government's plan to retain security control over Gaza after the war ends. Let's get more with Hamda Salhout. She joins us now live from occupied East Jerusalem. Hamda, good to see you again. What more did uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu have to say? Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu essentially just reiterated the three goals that he has for the war. And additionally, he spoke about what the Israelis are hoping to do after. He said that he wants to create a demilitarized zone inside of the Gaza Strip. And the only force who could be responsible for that are the Israelis. He said he didn't trust any sort of international force or coalition to get the job done for him. He also that's interesting why doesn't he trust the international community and he doesn't even trust the united states surprise mentioned that there were significant military operations today inside of gaza both in jebelia and in khan yunis in the south the israeli army has said that they've completely surrounded the southern city of khan yunis and are operating in the heart of it all while trying to deepen their push into northern Gaza while continuously making gains, according to them. The Israeli army released a statement earlier saying that they had achieved many objectives, listing battalions that they say they've eliminated, but they have not provided any proof or evidence to those claims. The Israeli defense minister, Yoav Gallant, yeah, why doesn't the Israeli government ever prove that they've taken out, like, any Hamas leaders or anything? All they do is say that they killed a leader in a bar. Additionally, speaking at that press conference, saying that the issue of the captives is very important to the Israelis. And remember, we just heard from the Hamas spokesperson, Osama Hamdan, who said that the Israelis need to stop the aggression on Gaza in order for there to be more captive deals. But the Israeli defense minister, Yoav Gallant, has been saying for not just days, but weeks, that any future negotiations are only going to happen under fire. So there are different interests, obviously. Well, so the only, uh, I don't even know what he's talking about there. As this war continues, more than 60 days on, Malin. And Hamda, we understand there's been more fighting on the Israel-Lebanon border. What details are emerging? An intensification of the exchanges of fire in recent weeks on the Israeli-Lebanon border and uh, we have been hearing from the Lebanese armed forces saying that an Israeli shelling ended up killing a member of the Lebanese armed forces. The Israeli military issuing a rare statement acknowledging that they did it and apologizing, saying, quote, we were working to neutralize a tangible threat that was identified and the Lebanese army was not the target, going on to say that the Israeli military is sorry for the incident and it will be investigated. This is the first statement of its kind since the war. Oops. Uh, wow. So they're finally admitting in one situation where they killed innocent civilians. I wonder when it's uh, Palestinian civilians. Or began. We haven't seen any other statement like it, even though there were civilians killed in southern Lebanon and three journalists, as well as Israeli aggression in the southern part of Lebanon.